thank you for being here. I'm here with Chris Villani, the creator of Rise of the Super Athlete. From the ground up, mental toughness, focus, and unstoppable confidence. And today is the first day ever in the history uh -oh. of Joe Vagnone. Have I met one of your business clients? <laughs> yeah. Most of the time, yeah. I know you as the young athlete, right. you know, or um, up and coming, yeah. you know, out of college, moving to the to the Olympics or something like that. Yeah. Um, we've talked about you helping a lot of business yep. clients, but I've never met any of them. Yes. Do let you me, want? Let me yes. let me start. Okay. okay. The Heartstone Group, powered by EXP, Brad and Kelly Weaver. Um, Warren. Warren. Excuse me. Warren. Warren, I'm sorry. It's okay. We've been called much. I'm worse. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, Kelly wrote this up, and my my reading is worse than my pronunciation, so I apologize. Um, thank you both for being here. We appreciate yes. it. Thanks for having us. So, where did you meet Chris at? Um, I actually found Chris. I wanted my husband to have some sessions. Um, with a coach. She was pushing you. She was pushing. I got a call and just said, hey, you, this is where you're going. This, this is, is what, this what you're going to do. Yeah. I called Chris and he uh, did a quick interview with me and seemed like a good fit. And I would later learn that he didn't take on many business clients at that time. But for some reason he did. And it's really worked out well for me. Good. <laughs> what was it that you thought Brad needed at that time? What What, what was it? Yep. Um, I wanted him to be able to expand his mindset. Um, it's everything that we've been talking about today, limitations. Um, I wanted... Did he know you thought that way about him? Like, did, did you know what I'm trying to say? Like, like did, Listen, did... you can't be a prophet in your own land. You need to bring somebody else into the conversation. And so I did. Interesting. Yeah. So, so, Brad, when she said, hey, honey, I want you to meet this dude, what'd you think? Um... Wow. I think you were excited. I was very excited. To, well, to hear that Chris at that time didn't take a lot of business people. Right. And the unknown. I had no idea. I right. had never done this. I knew well, that she supported me. Well, because his first me. experience with business, you know, was yeah. painful Joe back then, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. So, yeah, we we met and Chris made it easy. You know, yeah. I felt like the hard part was Well, on they my own. developed what um, Chris called the perfect day. And so Brad started to build out his life to create that perfect day. I love that. Yeah. yeah. It's really yes. cool. Really cool. And so a lot of fun. We had a lot yeah. of fun with that. I mean, that really led into um, us going into business together. It did. In real estate. Yeah. It did. Yeah. Um, so you weren't in business together. At, at, at that time when we met Chris, no, we were not. No, oh. I worked in the automotive. This is what's so uh, good about their stories. Whoa, that, As what they, this is where I want the people to really understand about them. Because we're not just... They're not just like clients. Uh, we hang out. We have great conversations right. and the cigars and whiskey, and we do. We really do all that. But one of the best oh, things I want to yes. yes. Yeah. So do, one of the best things about at all? <laughs> no, no, she hangs out. With Don't us laugh. There's dudes. plenty of women that do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish I was one of those women. <laughs> the one You're of like the... my wife. You get out of the room. No, it? I no, love. She likes I the love smell. the smell. I love to be around it. I just wish that I was one of those women. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's not so one. when we're together, we're always sharing. No matter what it is, they their their mindset of what they do. I've seen them as they've gone through building their business and who right. they had to become. And to be honest, they are a product of the product. Most people talk a good game; they do the game. It's a different. Um, it's fun working with them because well, even I even when it, I, I, could, I look in his eyes and yeah. the minute I asked him, you know, so what happened when you when you, when your wife said, "Hey, honey, right. I'm going to introduce you to coach," he said, "I was ready for it. I was yeah. excited." Oh yeah, about they excited. are. They're great. Yeah. 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 And yeah. to this day, no matter what's going on, they're always figuring out new ways to do what they got to do. It doesn't matter what's happening about that. So uh, we'll let them, of course, talk a little bit about why they do and what they. Yeah, do yeah, yeah. So 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 Brad, do this. G yeah. Give me. A, you don't have to go back to 1962, <laughs> but kind of give me a little bit of your background. How, how, how did you get sure. here? Sure. Yeah. So I was in the automotive business in the service side of it, and it did really well. So I was very successful with that, and put in 15 years in the business. It's a good business, but it does take you away from the family, and I didn't want to be there anymore. It's, so, I, I like being there. I didn't want to be away from the family right. anymore. Right. And I had eight years in lending, and my father was a real estate agent. So one day he came to me and he said, I don't know that I want to do this with our small children. And I said, 
I know what we could do together. And then we... <laughs> so you kind of pushed him. Light, uh, a light push. Light I didn't even know did, I was did being pushed. Push, Brad? I she didn't pushed. know. When I got yeah. that call, I knew this, okay, like this is the push, right? This right. Is, you're going to go work with a guy who's going to make you stronger mentally. Right. Um, so more successful on a business yeah. level and give you an idea, really work on an identity. I so you have like that. picked like the... The excellent woman for you, did you? Oh, I mean, she's a, there's yeah, a great amazing. team. Yeah, I, oh, I, can tell I can't you. wait to talk about their story of growing their she business makes and what they better. do. We can do a whole <laughs> radio show. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. The automotive biz. Yep. And you decided to move in the direction of the family biz, which was real estate. Yes. Was it a hard decision? Uh, no, not really. So I don't, I don't think we anticipated how fast it would move once yeah. the decision was made and we had a direction, and I. Don't think Kelly definitely d didn't expect for me to come home and say, hey, I, I went ahead and turned my notice in. Yeah. And we were still finishing our school. We hadn't even had quite have our license yet. Yes. And so See, I now, would say it was probably... Now, Kelly, that doesn't surprise me because I've just met him, right? I know him less than 30 minutes. He is that kind of guy. He is that when he's kind in, of he's guy. In. <laughs> when he's in, he's oh, in. Man. And you talked him into being out of the automotive business. He, by the, <laughs> he was done. He was His mind had moved on. It had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, we we banded together. We we have a strong family. We have yes. three kids, and we uh, people ask us all the time, "How do you spend twenty four hours a day together and still not we, hate yeah. each other?" Uh, we, it makes I, us stronger. We and, love each other. Yeah. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been married thirty years. No chance in the world we could work most together. Most people say. <laughs> That's yeah. what most people say. Yeah. 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 What is wrong with you? Right. Yeah. Yeah, but right. but I, but. It, it seems to be, Kelly, you really do tend to know him. Yes. And so you know what he needs yes. and doesn't need, and you, you tend to fill that. I monthly. will outsource what I cannot do yeah. Yeah. with him. Yeah. And, Brad, and, Brad, Chris. and Brad, I can tell, you absolutely do. You trust her. You, 100%. you absolutely trust 100%. That, that her advice she's given you is right on. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, I can tell. And, so, and I've, I've known you less than 30 minutes. Yeah. Work with us, you'll hear. Yes. Hey, uh, let me consult yeah. Kelly on that. They are. Yes. Times. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, are. I have no a, problem saying it. They're such a great team working with each other because they know each other's strengths, they know each other's weaknesses, and that's what makes them powerful in the real estate arena. So, so let's talk about that. What, what, what are the roles that you guys play? If I'm gonna call you and ask you to to sell my let, home, kind of yes. walk me through that. So let's talk about the beginning. In the beginning, everybody wanted us to stick to these gender roles. Um, we worked with another husband and wife team, and they had the, these different roles, and our role is quite different than Reversed. most <laughs> husband and wife real estate teams. Brad is at the front of it. He handles day-to-day -day stuff. He's amazing at it. He's yep. going to do the paperwork. He's going to make sure that all the numbers are in order, and I'm more of the person that's going to handle the problems, show you you know, the houses when things aren't seeming like they're really thick, get, working out and everything, I'm going to be there for yeah. that. So, you hear from Kelly when it's real. You yes. know, when it's, do when I know it's, that when, when I call you guys? Like, do, 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 you, do you describe the roles to your client? Well, also, we fill out the client. If a client wants to work predominantly with me or predominantly with Brad, mm -hmm. then we also will... We'll do that. Yeah, yeah but, I but think that's we'll, what's so great about working with you guys. It, when you guys say team, it is a yes, team. Right? It's it's a team. Awesome. I mean, yeah. it's clear. It's a team. You know, and then we call ourselves the group mainly because we all, everyone is individual in this business. Right. Let's just be real. Sure. It's, we're not, we, we should never be against each other, and but we are individuals. So for us, you know, I think growing up playing sports, being on teams, we can roll into, we can go into whatever role we need to immediately. And the client probably never even knows, honestly, Joe. Right. They don't. We it's very clearly defined. They know that typically they're working through yeah. me throughout yeah. the process. But the moment they need her, she's there. Yeah. But she's always in the background working. It's it's always yeah. listening. Always she can hear things that a lot of people can't hear. The way someone says something, the look on their face. You know, she told me something the other day. She said, "Hey, I just want you to know this is coming." And about an hour later, I get a phone call. I said, "I don't know how you saw the future. It was amazing, but that's." It also yeah. gives them a heads up. When yeah. needed. Yeah. Um, so we, we work very closely together. Uh, one of our clients laughs. He goes, and hello to you, Kelly. Because he knows I'm always, <laughs> She's there. always there. I'm always there. And I'm yeah. like, hi. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what the biggest thing for any, uh, when I say any business, uh, a lot of people talk about it's referrals and how people have raving fans. They're one of the few where I've met a bunch of this because they have this thing that they do movie night once yeah, a month, which is really cool. And I meet a lot of these people who not only just went to them to buy a home or referred to them, but they refer other people out on a massive scale. Right. Well, it once is, you get to know these two, oh, it's, it's clear. Right. It's, it's real. Not, they it's realize, genuine. That, that's first, right. Yeah. At yeah. first, they thought there was a transaction, but when we are with Brad and Kelly, you are on a, you realize, wait a second, this is different. Now, go back. You said something about movie night. No, yeah, movie night. I'll let what am I missing? What, movie yeah, night is talk to really me about movie night. So after working with Chris, uh, he actually kind of inspired. You don't even I don't yeah. even think you know that, but... Uh, yeah, Kelly Chris makes you do of, stuff and you never realize he's having you uh, do it. You understand? Know he's, he's tricky. He's, got he's the tricky. Mind, yeah, Jedi yeah, yeah. mind tricks. Yes, I don't he, know. He Jedi. was like, he was like, you know, we're going down these value trainings and and everything, and then we're done with the training. And I looked at Brad and I was like, authenticity is key to us. And I love movies, and you love movies. Yeah. And you know whether or not somebody likes movies, they show up. Because it's authentic to us, right? Yeah. And they hang out with us, and we have a conversation. And maybe they like the movie, maybe they don't. Sometimes they just stay for the hour. So and sometimes we stream. Yeah. yeah sometimes we stream. <laughs> we just did Wedding Singer. It was a lot, we did a little yeah. '80s thing with right. the Wedding Singers. Yeah, but we've shown a lot of the premiere movies yeah. this year. But Avatar, Late Norman Movie Club. Yeah. Um, you can find us on Facebook. I yes, think is your... Facebook and Instagram. And Lake Norman Movie Club. So, so you created a Lake Norman Movie, movie Club. Club. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So where, we, where do you do? Where do you watch the movies? We at? do it at Davids in our town cinema yeah. helps, okay. helps us host. So we rent the theater out, and we it's, a, it's an event, it's complimentary. Um, it's not real estate yeah. based. We don't. Right. We're there to you enjoy don't have our to buy a piece of real estate. Yeah. You have nothing. Uh, yeah, we, it's a non sales way of, of just really organically growing relationships, and everyone's been part of the same process. Because once you meet these two, yes. and you need something done for real estate, yeah. you're going to call them. One hundred percent. And we're going to be there from time and yeah. time again. That's what they do, and it's the one thing I want people to realize that there's a lot of real estate people out there, but there's very few that you're like, okay, when I'm with them, they're going to take care of me. Way more than I thought, and they'll meet my expectations way right. more than that. Yeah. So I think one of the things for us, too, is just we're always available, I and mean, yeah. that's part of having two of us. We're, we will, I mean, we have many calls, probably too late at night, and we're there. We, to were, we were negotiating a contract last night at 10 p.m. Yeah. On a Sunday. Yeah. And maybe we shouldn't do that, but that's what the business is to us. But yeah. to us, the buyers, it's not 10. It, yeah. it, it, this is, it real, is my life. This it's is a real one 30 day yeah. transaction right. for you. It's, it's not. A, it's the biggest investment yes. you'll probably, most people will ever make, right? It's in real estate. People so. will forget what you say, they'll forget what you do, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Yes. Yeah. And so for us, it's always about could they count on us at 10 o'clock at night to call them and let them know what the offer was, et cetera, and so on. They won't forget that feeling. They'll forget that you did that, but they won't forget knowing that you were there. Well, you know, my experience is, you know, when they remember that you uh, picked up the phone at 10 a.m. about three months later, right? Yeah. When they're sitting in sure. the home, relaxing, yeah. sure. mm -hmm. like, you know. Yeah, because right. you're in the heat yeah, of the moment. I, I, I mean, never yeah. actually thanked them for that. You know? <laughs> yeah, and for us, it's just second nature. We actually get excited. We see the call. We get excited. Really? Yeah. I see our client. I mean, yeah. What's better than having the conversation with someone who's trusting you, putting that much trust in? <clears throat> so if somebody wanted to reach you, how can they reach you? Probably the best would be uh, what we do a lot on our Instagram. Facebook. Uh, yeah, um, the you can at say the Hearthstone Group. The Hearthstone Group. The Hearthstone Group. The reason why we went with that is because the hearth is the center of the home. It's where conversations are. Again, coming from Chris, um, values. So that's where the Hearthstone Group comes from. Yeah, a meeting place somewhere that we all connect. And you guys associate with uh, uh, EXP. Why did you choose them? We chose EXP yeah. because um, they have what is known as a back office where we help people all over the country. And we were at a loss sometimes for how to find agents that would fit our clients well in other states, mm -hmm. whether they were selling a home in Colorado or they were purchasing a home in California. How do we connect people that are like us? And EXP offers that to us. There were so many times we felt like these close and important people to us, we were letting them down by not having access to those connections. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other reasons why EXP is an amazing company to be with, but that was a major 
factor for us. Yeah. What advice deciding. would you give somebody thinking about getting into the real estate business? Because it's it's tricky right now. It's uh don't don't believe what you watch on Instagram and TikTok about real estate <laughs> business. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work. It's a, it's a very personal business, and to be successful in this business, you need to be available. I and also want to just you need to be available. Yes. That's that's yeah. a good statement. Yeah. I also want to say that it has always helped us that Brad had. Um, done home remodel stuff in his very early years and so when we go over the home inspection I'm always in awe of my husband I'm like what what did you just throw out there I, I kind of enjoy impressing her a little bit you know so I, I got you, babe. probably I got exaggerated you. a little bit more than you. than what? real you know? every now yeah. and then you want to yeah. remind the little lady you know what you're doing I got you I got you yeah I got you. Yes. thank you so, so much for being here we really do appreciate it thanks for that. having us us yeah. it's been awesome you are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Bagnone. If it is Monday afternoon, say it, Chris. Say it, say it, say it. Your business matters. Yeah. News Talk WSIC. Because that's what we do.